college football. Uh, the season's ended. It was a great season. My team, the Gators, they won, took the championship. You know how that is. Uh, My team too, of course. But uh, should Sam Bradford and Tim Tebow, should they have stayed in school, which they did, or should they have just entered the draft? Uh, I think they should have stayed. Um, if, if anyone were to go, it should have been Sam Bradford. But uh, Tebow, he had a great season. I mean, national championship. But uh, I just don't think he's ready. Um, Sam Bradford, he's also a great quarterback, but uh, I think he just needs one more year. Well, yeah, I'm pretty much going to, you know, agree with what you said. Uh, I think Tebow needs some uh, more time in school to work on his quarterback accuracy. Right now, if he were to go to the NFL, I'm not sure if he's ready to be a pro quarterback yet, but I think one more year he can work on that. We all know he can run the football, you know. So, you know, to work on that, get his stock up, uh, I think Bradford, I think he was ready for the NFL, but I think he wants to go back to try to win championships for Oklahoma and maybe get that Heisman again. But definitely. definitely. Yeah, yeah. All right. Matt Stafford, no Sean Moreno, Percy Harvin, Mark Sanchez, all in in the draft. What do you think? Uh, well, Matt Stafford, no. Uh, <laughs> he, I mean, he'll, he'll get picked up by uh, – like early on, but I don't think probably the Lions. Yeah, probably the Detroit, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I think he should have stayed a year. And then uh, no, Sean Marino uh, as a running back, especially in your junior year, you know you don't want to chance it and stay another year for injuries. But uh, I think he should have gone. And Mark Sanchez, Pete Carroll said it himself. You know he just wasn't ready. Yeah. And I think all the attention and money got to him, but um, I think. He actually asked Pete Carroll for advice and then uh, went He's, against it. So yeah, and then went against it. But uh, say about his character, I don't know. I yeah, I don't understand that. But uh, good luck to you, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I'm definitely gonna say uh, Stafford. I think uh, I think he could have used an extra year. Um, of course, he's probably gonna be you know the first quarterback taken in the draft. Probably be end up in Detroit or uh, some other team that wasn't doing this doing well this season. Um, I think No. Sean was definitely ready for NFL, you know, hurting over people and stuff like that. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, I so, said I'm posting in my room. Beautiful. So, no Sean's ready. He should just go ahead and, you know, do what he do, you know. And then uh, you know, Percy Harvin, I think, you know, I think he could use another year in college. Uh he's definitely he has the speed. Uh he's a multi purpose, you know, uh guy that you can use on either side, you know, for uh running it, uh can catch it, things like that. So he opens the deep uh opens the offense up. And then, of course, Mark Sanchez, yeah, I don't think he was ready. I mean, you're going to start your first year, you know, off of an injury. No way. So, you know, he, uh, he probably won't do that well in the NFL. Should have stayed in school. Uh, mine is a terrible thing to waste. Uh, <laughs> now we're going to a little major league baseball, you know. I don't get a lot of that, you know. But uh, uh, the Braves and Derrick Lowe, I mean, the Braves add Derrick Lowe, pardon me, to the rotation. But uh, – Lose John Smoltz. What does that say about the organization? Uh, what does that say about the team? Uh, I think it was a great pickup. Um, <coughs> they might have paid too much money, but uh, if anything, an Atlanta Braves organization, I think they need the pitching. I think that's going to get them farther. I think that's what they've always lacked ever since they had that, you know, 92, uh, 95 run. But uh, I think John Smoltz, he was kind of torn you know what happened but uh, I think eventually they'll bring him back but uh, as far as as far as what's going to benefit them in the long run I think Derek Lowe is the right way to go. Derek Lowe the way to go. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, I mean uh, I love the Braves I like watching them play just disappointed in that they let John Smoltz go. Um, I believe they could have worked out a deal to uh, keep him there. I think, I think it was going to hurt them in the long run. Of course Derek Lowe is a great pitcher to pick up but I mean, they had they had brought Glasman back, uh, and then you had Smoltz there. You could have brought in uh, someone else, but uh, you should definitely should have kept him there because you know he's a Hall of Fame pitcher. Um, I just don't see why. why he's they almost the franchise. Exactly. When you, right. when you think Braves, you think you know pitcher John Smoltz. Smoltz. Nowadays, but, it's all about the young guns. So. <laughs> yeah, but of course, you know <coughs> the Braves always lack, you know, pitching. That's what's been hurting them over the years. But uh, hopefully Derek Lowe will, you know, have a good year and, you know, won't get injured or anything like that. All right, the Yankees spent a lot of money this year on all these new players. Uh, how do you think that's going to fare this season? Will they win the championship or what? 
No, I don't think so, especially with uh, the A-Rod situation, you know. I think I think they can put it behind them, but I just don't think they're going to – I mean, they'll, they'll probably go f first or second round of playoffs, but uh, I just don't think they're going to be world champions, at least this year. So. Yeah, pretty much. I don't think the Yankees are going to win this year. Maybe next year, but not this year. Because, you know, I think A-Rod has a lot of pressure on him. Like, I think they have to win the World Series this year if he wants them, you know, to get off his back. They also mm -hmm. uh, have all the, you know, the added, uh, the key, key pitching, uh, Sabathia and... Uh, CC? Um, what's the guy's name? Uh, Burnett. AJ and Burnett. Uh, they still, still got, you know, Jeter, Rodriguez, Matt Tilly. Um, Abreu, Johnny Damon, all those guys. Heck so, of a team. yeah, they do have a great team, but I just feel they disappoint every year to me. So, uh, <laughs> I just don't think they're gonna get it this year. Probably Especially next year. Especially since will. they uh, <laughs> let Joe Torre go. Oh yeah. And you saw what he did with the, with the Dodgers, board. right? So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did. Uh, well, will Barry Bonds serve a little jail time? You know, for being indicted on steroids. Um. <coughs> I don't think so. Um, this, I mean, the situation will probably be dragged out, but uh, if if he does serve jail time, I don't think it'll be long. Uh, kind of similar to the Michael Vick situation, mm -hmm. but uh, I think mean, he should be Seems fine. Like this yesterday, he was on that field. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I think Barry will. He's gonna have to. He's gonna start some time because there's, there's evidence there that <laughs> indicates that he knew what he was taking. He knew what he was doing. And now that A-Rod came out and said this, they're probably going to somehow trace something back to him, somebody like that. they so got to make an example out of somebody. Yeah. Exactly. Can't keep getting so away with it. I mean. Somebody's going to jail. I, don't, I think Barry will have to serve some time unless he got, you know, he got stacked on deck to get him out of jail. <laughs> so, and then that. Speaking of jail time, we got a little time on our hands. Uh, <laughs> how about the Chris Brown-Rihanna situation? What do you think about that? Man? That was stupid, man. Uh <laughs> Uh -huh. I think, uh, I mean, I don't know what was going through his mind, but uh, bite marks? Dang. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, Probably, you know, Chris Brown looking for the street cred, you know, say he's not <laughs> soft anymore or whatever, you know, whatever. But, you know, it, it's a terrible thing to hit a woman. So, you know, all you viewers out there, you know, respect women. Very important. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, that's it. Uh, until next time, I'm Harvey Lampton. I'm Jeff Malloy. I'm Kyle Clark. <laughs> and this is GSW Sports Galore and more. Oh, and don't forget to vote for your king and queen. And uh, we'll see you next time. Oh, yeah. Also, homecoming week next week. Or when you're probably watching, this, probably will be the week. But, you know, catch the game on Saturday. Augusta State. Go Kings. <laughs> And we have a, a Facebook group on oh, yeah, Facebook. Yeah. It's called GSW Hurricane TV, I believe. Uh, yeah, check that out. You know, <laughs> ask us questions. You know, your name might pop up in the next segment. You never know. <laughs>